Hi, for this video, what we are going to do is we are going to determine whether this quadratic equation or this quadratic function has a maximum or a minimum value. And what you look at is the A term of your given equation. And since in this case, we have positive one is understood to be our A term here. Um, we, since it's positive, that tells me that the graph will open upward. And any time it opens upward, the graph is going to take on this shape, which shows us that we would have a minimum value for this particular graph. So any time that you have a positive A term or the value in front of your X squared is positive, you will have a minimum point. Now to find that minimum point, what you are going to do is you're going to find the coordinates of the vertex. And the vertex is the fancy name for this turning point here because it was decreasing from left to right until it gets to the vertex and then it starts increasing from left to right. So the equation to find the vertex, the x coordinate is negative b divided by 2a. And the y coordinate is found by doing f of negative b divided by 2a, which is just a fancy way of saying plug in what you got for x into your equation to see what you got for y. The maximum is always the y coordinate of the vertex. So this value right here would be your actual, sorry, maximum or minimum. Um, so in this case, it would be our minimum point. So with this, what we are going to do is we are going to find the x coordinate first, the negative b over 2a. So in this case, our b term is 6. Remember that that's always whatever is in front of your x term or your linear term. So we would do negative 6 divided by 2 times 1. And we end up with x being at negative 3. Now to find the actual minimum point, we are going to take and we are going to plug in negative 3 into our equation. So that tells us to replace all of our x's with negative 3. So we would really have negative 3 squared plus 6 times negative 3 plus 9. So if we end up simplifying this, negative 3 squared gives us 9 plus and because I have a positive 6 and a negative 3, this would really give me a negative 18, or I could write it as subtraction. You can do it either way. And we end up with 0. So our minimum point occurs when x is negative 3 at 0. So the minimum is 0 when x equals negative 3. But the actual minimum point is 0 because your y coordinate is what determines the up and down movement. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.